So before we start, let us just have a quick introduction session with all of us, between all of us, and we are going to introduce ourselves in German, okay? So that we practice a bit whatever we have learned in our A1. So, okay. ich heiße Manoj. Mein Vorname ist Manoj. Is the font readable? Naija Navda. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Mein Familienname ist Kumar. Ich bin 38 Jahre alt. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich wohne in Neu Delhi. Ich bin verheiratet. Ich bin Lehrer von Beruf. Mein, meine Hobbys sind sind uh, Bücher lesen und tanzen. No, not tanzen, singen. Just random hobbies, ne? And ich spreche Englisch, Hindi, Punjabi und Deutsch. This is about myself. So let us Right. And how do we request someone to introduce yourself? So there's a one question. So we are going to ask this way. Können Sie bitte sich kurz vorstellen? Or that's a question. Können Sie bitte sich kurz vorstellen? Or you can also request someone. Stellen Sie sich bitte kurz vor. That is my request. And this is the question, I mean, imperative form. So, uh, Pinkel, stellen Sie sich bitte kurz vor. Ja, ich heiße Pinkel, mein Vorname ist uh, Pinkel, mein Familienname ist Banda. Ich bin 30 Jahre alt, ich komme aus Indien, ich wohne in Würzburg, Ich bin verheiratet. Um, ich bin Ingenieurin uh, von Beruf. Meine Hobby um, ist, um, ist Singen. Um, ich spreche Englisch, Hindi, uh, Uriya und ein bisschen Deutsch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can request Navtha or Naija to introduce themselves. Okay. Um, Nafta, können Sie bitte sich uh, kurz vorstellen? Ich heiße Nafta. Mein Vorname ist Nafta. Mein Familienname ist Manutra. Ich bin 19 Jahre uh, alt. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich wohne in Neu Delhi. Ich bin verheiratet. Ich bin Studentin von Beruf. Uh, meine Hobbys sind Schwimmen, Chatten und Kochen. Ich spreche Englisch, Hindi und Deutsch. Thank you. Nada, can you please request Naija to introduce herself? Naija, können Sie bitte sich kurz vorstellen? Ich heiße Naija. Mein Vorname ist Naija. Mein Fa Familienname ist Malhotra. Ich bin 13 Jahre alt. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich wohne in Neu Delhi. Ich bin Studentin von Beruf. Meine Hobbys sind Singen und Tanzen. Ich spreche Englisch, Hindi und Deutsch. Thank you, Naija. Very good. Thank you. So uh, there were few uh, um, errors. So it is always mine, not meine, because Vorname is my masculine. Always mine. Pinkel and Naija, both of you have used meine. It's mine. In okay. even these kind of errors are avoided by the examiner, but in A2, these examiner, these kind of errors are always considered. 
and marked as an error. It's also mine. The rest everything was fine. So ish hai se. What would be the informal way to ask or to request someone to introduce? Stell, stell dich bitte kurz vor. This is to request someone informally. Suppose Navda could have requested Naija to introduce herself using this phrase. Stell dich bitte kurz vor. So in today's session, we are only going to talk about things which we have learned in A1 and we are going to practice. All right. Stell dich bitte kurz vor. What would be the question? What is the do form of können? Anyone can answer. Kanst Correct. Correct. Du Kannst du dich bitte kurz vorstellen? Everything remains same. Only the model verb is changed. And what could be the question for this one? Ishai se Manoj, what could be the question? We heißen Sie. We heißen Sie or We heißen Sie. Correct. We heißen Sie and we heißen Sie. Mm -hmm. What could be the question to inquire somebody's first name? Was is dein uh, Vorname? Wie ist ihr Vorname? Or wie ist dein Vorname? Wie ist ihr? Was, you can use was as well. That's okay. And similarly, for familien name, you can replace Vorname with familien. Okay. What is the difference between familien name and Nachname? Can anyone please uh, specify? First name and surname. No, Nachname and Family Name. Family Name versus Nachname. So, Naija and Navda, they have Nachname. They do not have Family Name because they are not married. So, Pinkel, you are married, you would be having the family name. After okay. people come, uh, you are married, so you get a family name. But oh, okay. when you are not married, you have a Nachname, surname. Oh, okay. That is the only difference. Rest everything is fine. But if you are asking someone Nachname, even though he or she is married, that's perfectly fine. But logical difference is this. Okay. What could be the question for this one? Ich bin 38 Jahre alt. How would you inquire somebody's age? Anyone? Uh, we is time. Very good, Navda. But you are wrong this time. Naija would answer. Pinkel. We alt do. We alt. We alt zinzi or we alt pistu. That is the question. We alt zinzi, we alt pistu. So the right side is the do form. Okay, ich komme aus Indien. What is the question to inquire? Woher kommst du? Or Correct. Kommen? Woher kommen Sie? And woher kommst du? Is that correct, Naija? Ich wohne in yes. Neue Delhi. Um, wo wohnst du? Wo wohnen Sie? Yeah. And wo... Wohnst du? That's right. Ich bin verheiratet. So this. Um, was ist um, dein Familienstand? Wonderful. Wie ist ihr Familienstand? Or wie ist dein Familienstand? Wie ist ihr Familienstand? Wie ist dein? You can also add was ist dein. That's okay. Nobody will consider it wrong. Okay, ich bin Lehrer von Beruf. What could be the question? What could be the question? Was ist dein Bond von Beruf? No, was sind 
sie von Beruf. Was bist du von Beruf? Okay, what are you by profession? What are you by profession? And everything we are doing is only the A1. We are not doing anything of A2 so far. Was sind Sie von Beruf? Was bist du von Beruf? Meine Hobbys sind Bücher lesen und singen. Was sind deine Hobbys? Was sind deine Hobbys? That is the... That is... Informal or formal? Informal. So what would be the formal one? Was sind ihre Hobbys? Was sind deine Hobbys? Okay. Pinkel, ich spreche Englisch, Hindi, Punjabi und Deutsch. What could be the question? Um, was sprechen? Welche Sprachen? Sprachen sprechen. Sprechen Sie? Or welche Sprachen sprichst du? These are few questions. Okay. Uh, how do I inquire someone's telephone number? Any question? How do I inquire someone's telephone number? Not um, mobile number, telephone number. Yeah, go ahead. Was, was is a diner telephone number? Was is here a telephone number? Or informal way? Was is deine telephone number? Correct. Handy number, same question. I just replaced with telephone with Harry. Okay. Right. How would I inquire somebody's address? Was is deine address? Correct. This is the Formal, this is informal way. What could be the informal way? Was is your address? Correct. Was is your address? What is thine address? Was is your address? Was is thine address? Okay. How would I inquire? somebody's uh, uh, siblings how many siblings do you have all a1 now first of all what what should be the answer of this question pinkel how should why should i answer this question um about uh, siblings right no 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 the telephone number um mine my telephone name. My telephone number is. Is whatever, um, yeah. Any random number you can give. Null eins sieben sechs fünf six. Right, any random number. And handy number. My handy number is. My address is. Correct. Anything which was not known to you, or which is new here, and we have not covered in A one. Is there anything? Naija Navda? No, sir. No, okay. sir. Pinkel, is there any question which you have not covered in A1? Um, I don't think so. Because all these questions belong to the A1 level. Am I right? Pinkel, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. audible. Okay. Yes. okay. Is there any question which is new to you? Uh, no, I think it's all I, I think I read. Yeah. Correct. Uh, hi, Sunil. I'm going to talk to you in the session room. I'm going to talk to you in the morning. Okay. What is your address? What is your address? Okay. How would I inquire somebody's favorite food? What question would I use to ask? Oh, how somebody's... did we ask about uh, siblings? Oh, yes. Was, uh, we feel a geschwister haben sie 
or we feel a guest visitor has to how many siblings do you have okay so ich habe einen bruder und eine schwester for example okay we are only we are today we are all going to cover the questions whatever we have learned in a1 nothing for a2 just a quick revision how would i inquire somebody's favorite meal what is meal essen essen what is favorite meal liebling wonderful essen. wonderful lieblings essen okay so how would i say was ist ihr liebling essen essen or was is dein lieblings essen correct so mein lieblings essen ist for example rajma chawal hmm that is the indicious so for german you can use currywurst currywurst okay favorite food how would i say uh, what's your favorite country what is your favorite country was ist your lieblings land yeah so was is ihr lieblings land or was ist dein lieblings land that's correct mm -hmm. uh how would i say what is your favorite sport pinkel um was ist ihr lieblings um sports as i'm not sure sport sport okay was ist dein lieblings sport lieblings sport correct how would i say what's your favorite hobby was ist was ist ihr liebling hobby correct was ist dein lieblings hobby and what do you do in your free time what do you do in your free time how will i ask was marked do in diner freizeit or was machen sie in der freizeit in ihrer freizeit or was marks to in diner freizeit very good okay um what does your father do pinkel what does your father do or what is your father by profession um was ist er ge ihr war ihr warte vater von beruf correct or was ist dein vater von beruf correct similarly ida mutter deine mutter there is another way to ask same question was macht ihr vater beruflich that is another way to ask what does your father do professionally so was macht dein vater beruflich nothing new see did we know that we uh, have all these questions in mind we never thought of it okay what is your favorite drink what is your favorite drink oh uh, was ist your lieblings trinken getränke was oh, ist yeah. your lieblings getränke getränk or was ist dein lieblings getränk okay what is your favorite car was it your lieblings auto correct auto 
who assist thine Lieblings outer. Correct. Um, what is your favorite travel destination? What is your favorite travel destination? This we have not done. Travel destination is riser seal. Yeah. Travel destination we call as riser seal. Thus riser seal. It is thus. Rise the seal. So what would I do? Versus ear Lieblings rise the seal or versus thine Lieblings rise the seal. What's your favorite color? How do we ask? Versus era Lieblings Farb and Versus Diner Lieblings Farb. Correct. How do I write what's your favorite pet? What's your favorite pet? Thus, house dear pet was is ear Lieblings house dear or was is thine Lieblings house dear. Okay. Um, any any question do you have in mind of similar pattern? How do we ask? Uh, do you so like this question? How will you answer? I don't like animals. You don't. I don't like animals. Ish mag kaina house tiere. Ish mag kaina house tiere. Okay. Ishmaq kind of house dear. I don't like pets. Pinkle, do you have any other question in mind, like similar, similar kind of question, which you know you have covered in A1 and we have not done it here? Uh, not really. Yeah. Everything really. I think is covered here. Yeah. We have we have covered, right? And there is nothing new. And yeah. believe me, the list is still not done. We have many questions that you know, but we don't realize that we actually know. Okay, how do I ask? Do you like to dance? Do you like to dance? How do I ask this? Dance do again. Tansen zigan or dance do again. Correct. Very good. Do you like to sing? Zing, uh, zing, zing to again. Correct. Zing and zing again. Zing to again. Which is your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Was is ear Lieblings film or was is thine Lieblings film? All right. Now, I am going to give you situations and you all have to write your answers in either in WhatsApp group or you may answer in the Zoom chat window. Where do you prefer to write? WhatsApp? Yes. So Zoom chat is also fine. Zoom chat is your wish. I leave it up to you. So I'm going to give you situations in English and request everyone to write down your questions or translate into German. Okay. Do you like chocolates? How do I ask? Do you like chocolates? Do you like chocolates? Chocolate is again Navda by Marxed 
do chocolate so uh, in my f lag gaya koi baat nahi that's okay but it is not the correct way to ask or uh, no so either we say mergen z chocolate or magst to chocolate i was right ah uh, marks do show yeah f galti se aa gaya but beta aapne s small lagaya hai which is wrong and now the chocolate beta is not an activity chocolate is not an activity it cannot come before uh, the pronoun it okay uh do you like do you like to travel do you like to travel meeting will be over in 10 minutes please rejoin do you like to travel aha uh-huh. naija says marks to rise thank you navda this time you are perfect you're right um so two difference this is for everyone when we when we like let me explain it here this is again a quick revision when you like a verb when you like a verb we use verb plus gern plus z or do do and then question mark always when you like a verb so here riser is a verb okay so what is the verb risen uh, i'm sorry i'm just a small change this gan should not come here it should okay rise and z gan or rise to gan when you like a verb but when you like a noun when you like a noun we use mergen plus z or do plus the noun that is a good difference okay and there is no exception okay. whenever we like a verb we use verb plus z plus gern example rise and z gern but when we like a noun be it a person noun could be anything it could be an object it could be a person right marks do sharukh khan marks do uh, priyanka chopra anything marks do chocolate marks do das auto marks do volkswagen okay hmm. all right so do you want a chocolate do you want a chocolate which model verb will i use here mosen mosen is must will correct mosen is wills to aina chocolate wonderful naija very good job and aina ka beta e is going to be small I didn't know, okay. sir. I was writing chocolate with the S capital, so it by mistake went with. No I. problem. No problem. Gussa nahi karna. Wills to, I need chocolate. Okay. Do you want a chocolate? When I say mosh test, do I need chocolate? What could that mean? Pinkle. What could this mean? Mosh test to I need chocolate. would you like to have a chocolate correct but your name is not pinkle naija <laughs> don't worry don't worry yes pinkle yeah would would you would like you, to would you like to correct so volen volen is want to yeah mershten is would you like to i am very impressed to see that everyone knows at least these things nice one Mm-hmm. thank you next question please write in the chat box i don't like chocolates how do i express this thing 
I don't like chocolate. Ich mag keine Schokolade. Okay. Anyone else? Sir, again with the S capital. No problem. That's fine. Ich mag keine Schokolade. Ich mag keine Schokolade. Perfect. All three of you are right. But this one, uh, Navtha and Naija, is typo error. That's okay. Very good. Why do you like chocolate? Why do you like chocolates? Or single chocolate? Why do you like chocolate? Okay. Why is um warum? Warum. Warum? Max two. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Why do you like chocolates? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a short list of questions which we can ask each other and this process is called zish kennen lernen this is a process zish kennen lernen means know each other so you meet someone for the first time and you inquire about someone's hobby someone's right uh, do's don'ts what's his name where he comes from this is all which is covered in a1 good list of questions okay Yep. Any question or anything which you want to ask right now? Nothing. Let me just move to my next part. And we, as I said, we are just going to revise everything, whatever we have studied so far. Let's talk about personal pronomen. Personal pronomen. Nominative, accusative, dative. Yes, Pinkle, please keep me personal pronoun in nominative case. It's mine. Um, no, that is possessive pronoun. Uh, ek. Ish, um, correct. Ish, do. Ish, do. As he is. Wonderful. Via. Wonderful. Ear. Um, then C and C. E and C. Right. Navda, please give me accusative one. Mish. Wonderful. Dish. Dish. Z. In. In. C. S. Z. In. S. Then we have. Uh, uns. Yeah, uns. Oish. Oish. Z. Correct. Naija, please give me dative. Nia. Wonderful. Uh, dear. Yeah. Im, your, in. Wonderful, yeah. Uh, uns, oish, inan, inan. Very good. Okay. Let's talk about articles. And how many cases do we have, Navta? Nominative. We have masculine, feminine, masculine, noit. correct, feminine, neutral, and what are the other three special cases we have? Bestimmt, unbestimmt, unbestimmt, um, and plural. Plural. Mm -hmm. yeah. plural. Okay. So, Navda, please give me nominative articles. Der, die, das. Der, die, das. Unbestimmt. Ein, eine, ein. Ja. Plural. Die, die, die. Wonderful. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Okay. Pinkle, can you please try to give me accusative ones? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Um, for um, bestimmte article, it's um, Dean. Yeah. Um, then it's uh, D. And yeah. 
Uh, again, din. Yeah. No, that remains thus. Thus. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes. Thus um, means thus. 